Shalom and welcome to the Hebrew Alternative. I'm Brother Jedaniah. Got some breaking news here. There's been a tsunami in Indonesia and the death toll spikes in Indonesia tsunami which leaves over 200 dead and 800 injured. So the Most High is turning up the heat on all the nations. A tsunami believed to be triggered by a volcanic eruption killed at least 222 people in the Indonesia during a busy holiday weekend. The disaster swept away hotels, hundreds of houses, and a group of people attending a beach concert. More than 800 people were reported injured after the tsunami hit around the Sundra Strait at 9.27 p.m. Saturday. The Disaster Management Agency said the Disaster Management Agency at least 28 others were missing but the toll could continue to rise because some areas had not yet been reached. Now they believe that this thing was triggered by this volcano Krakatoa volcano which erupted and caused a landslide underneath the water now that's according to what they're reporting well, let's take a look at this video here we have been working on an early tsunami detection system uh, using underwater sensor nodes and cables that would link to a shore station and communicate the data from changes in the water column to the MKG. And this type of data is really important in determining tsunamis, especially from these near shore, near field tsunamis. The uh, land-based seismometers don't pick up a change in the water column, which is what the tsunami Louise, can you tell us why the system or why the detection system didn't make any headway? Well, it's very difficult. Uh, we have been working with Indonesian researchers, and they have been marvelous. And they have made every possible effort to get it through. I think the real reason has been the changes in the Indonesian economy. And just this summer, there was a devaluation of the currency. So the funding that was at the end of July to implement, uh, install this tsunami prototype was not sufficient to cover the costs. And so that's part of the difficulty. There are three agencies that need to work together, plus our uh, set of of six institutions, four from the U.S., two from Indonesia, that need to put it in place. So it's implementing a complex system, but once implemented, the system would provide the data to BMKG to identify more accurately the changes in the water column and the generation of the tsunami. Now, if you want to get more information, I'm going to leave the link to this particular article in the description box below that you can go read. But let's go get some script on that. This is Matthew's chapter 24. Verse 6. And you shall hear wars, rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So you are seeing the beginning of the sorrows, and they are increasing, and they have not even come close to climaxing yet. Let's go get a few more verses. Luke 21 to 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexities, the sea and the waves roaring. Psalms 107 to 25, for he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. 
in Zion if we want to be protected from all this you have to read this with me Second Chronicles 7 and 14 if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear heal their land and also let's go to get another witness to that in uh, 1 Kings chapter 8 and 47 uh, yes it is a tragedy what happened over there but we were told to look out for these things just to increase and they will Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives saying we have sinned and have done perversely we have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all their heart with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land which thou givest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name, then hear thou thy, their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them who carried them captive that they may have compassion on them for they be thy people we are his people Zion and thine inheritance which thou broughtest forth out of Mizraim from the midst of the iron of the furnace of iron that thine eyes may be upon open upon the supplications of thy servant and uh, unto the supplication of thy people Yasharal to hearken unto them in all that they call for unto thee so we must pray to the Most High for forgiveness of sins and repent and turn to him with all our heart our mind and our soul that he may hear us from heaven Zion please make this your prayer often toward the Most High that he may look upon us and have pity have mercy upon us and come and redeem us out of our enemies' lands. And with that, I'm going to say shalom. Don't forget to share this video.